Hey Desmond, Oceana here with uh, G3 Agency <laughs> with your free website audit for B&B services in Illinois. In this free SEO website audit provided by G3 Agency, I'm going to show you three to four things that you can do to get B&B services in front of the people who are searching for concrete and moving services in the greater Chicago area. Uh, you may be wondering why I was just uh, focusing on those services. Uh, well, from one from what I found with my tools, I can see that more people are searching for those services in Chicago than your other services. So that's what I focused on for this video. Um, but these principles work for lawn care, garage and basement cleanup, etc. So um, you can take this information and apply it to those as well. Um, and like I said on the phone, I don't expect anything in return for this video. Um, I am trying to positively affect as many uh, locally owned, family owned type businesses. And honestly, I kind of really like your team. When I, when I pulled you guys up, you seem very, you know, very human, uh, very um, forward facing to the customers. I like that. I think it's really cool. Um, and so I just want to do you guys a favor and share this information with you. And of course you can think of this as like a business card with an oomph. <laughs> um, if you are interested in working with me and my team on these things, um, I would be happy to set up a time to talk, um, talk about your business plans, your goals. Um, and we can talk about what we do and just find out if a partnership makes sense moving forward. But I'm going to put all that aside for now, and I'm just going to focus on your um, your website here and how to get more people to the site. Um, okay, so first thing that I always look for when I do a, a website audit is a big click to call phone number at the top of the site, um, right around here somewhere. Um, most people are on their cell phones, as you probably know, so it just really helps um, make that you know make the transition between curious to customer when there's a big click to call phone number easily accessible at the top. Um, but that's really all I'm going to say about the conversions once people on, are on your site. The rest of this is really going to be very focused on how do we get people to your site using Google. Um, that's my specialty. That's what I trained for. So that's what I'm going to talk about. Um, okay, so the first thing is content. How many words are on your page? Are they relevant to what you do? And also, how are the images saved? So um, you do have some relevant information here, although I didn't see anything on your site about location. Is that Was that your site that I... I think it was your site that I noticed there was no, no mention of location anywhere on the site. So Google from that does not know where you are either. Um, and then your also your social icons are not broken. I did notice that. So you're going to want to fix that for sure. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, definitely going to need more words on your homepage and on your other pages. You really want to really go into detail about what it is that you do um, and how you do it. And basically what you're doing is you're showing Google that you are a subject matter expert and that is going to um, show you and Google in return is going to show you to more people looking for your services. Um, and then also if I click on an image, which this actually, oh, perfect. <laughs> um, so if I right click on an image and click save image as, I can see this image was saved as this string of numbers here. So that's not helpful. Um, what you want to do is actually re-upload all of these images, but first you want to save them as specific phrases people are actually typing into Google when they are looking for your services. And I'll show you um, not only how I find those, but um, give you a few that you would be interested in using on your site in a moment. But first, <laughs> so when I throw your website um, URL into this handy dandy tool that's I, I pronounce Arifs. Um, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of ways to pronounce that, but <laughs> I, I call it Arifs. And basically, it's a tool that gives me an in-depth look into how a website performs. Because um, it's one thing for it to look nice, it's another thing for it to actually work, right? <laughs> so um, your UR score and your DR score are basically how trustworthy does Google think that your website is. And from these low scores, um, that is definitely showing that Google basically thinks like, who is this guy? <laughs> like, what does he even do? So um, Google's very wary of your site, so it's not going to show up on Google very easily. And then um, how we raise that score is not only with that content and saving those site, uh, your, those web page, I mean, 
images properly. <laughs> Um, but also with backlinks and referring domains. So what those are, a backlink is any link that goes from another website back to your site, and a referring domain is any site that has one of those links on it. Um, and so you want to go out and you want to get uh, links to your site on other sites, but you want to make sure that those other sites are um, credible, that they have high DR scores, um, and then you also want them to be relevant to your your industry in some way, um, whether that's because it's another business in that same area or if it's another business that does like home improvement type niche um, services. That'll be a very helpful. And now we're going to get to keywords. Um, I'm a big nerd and I really like keyword research, which is how I found that there is so much of a need in Chicago for concrete, which is why I looked you guys, I looked up concrete contractors in uh, Chicago and how I found you guys. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so here is um, I put in Chicago. Uh, my my tongue is just like I don't know what's up. It's the end of the day and I'm like tripping over my words today. Um, concrete Chicago is what I put in because I already knew that that was going to be a pretty good one. Um, so we have Concrete Chicago, we have Concrete Contractors Chicago. Um, this one doesn't count because it says Concrete Cowboy and that's some kind of like movie or something. Um, and then we have Concrete Companies Chicago. So there are some pretty cool um, metrics I want to point out here as well. Um, so I always look for four things in a good keyword. Something that you do, some place that you do it, and a low, vo uh, a low keyword difficulty and high volume. And I'll explain those. So obviously something that you do is a, like a service. Um, you do want to include a place that you do it because if you don't, then, you know, if however many people are searching for it, you don't know if they're going to be in New York or if they're going to be in uh, California or who knows, they could be anywhere. So it's really important to have that, um, the location in there and then um, your keyword difficulty of two that's good um, so KD stands for keyword difficulty and it's basically how difficult does Arifs think it would be to get to page one of Google which is the goal right that's gonna result in more sales so a two and it's actually out of a hundred but a two is extremely low as you would imagine um, we really like to go after ones that are like five and below because those are fairly easy pickings and it doesn't take very long to rank for those, especially if you know what you're doing. So, um, and then 350 volume is actually fairly decent as well. Um, 350 people are searching for this exact phrase into Google each month. Um, so that's going to lead to a lot of people coming to your site each month. If you were sitting on the first page for Google, and then not only that one, but if you're also showing up for this one, and for well, not that one, <laughs> but this one and this one, you can see how it starts to add up, and that could be a lot of people. And these are, I mean, I have to stress that these twos and ones, and even this five is really quite um, impressive. This is unusual and really cool. So, um, and just to kind of give you an idea as well, um, I put in Chicago and then cross-referenced it with some things like pressure washing and carpet cleaning and window, blah, blah, blah. So, um, that's how I came up with this list. And then I excluded movies because Chicago, the movie, obviously it came up quite a bit more than, um, actual services in that area. So, <laughs> um, so I went down here and was like checking stuff out. Movers Chicago, for instance, it's got a whole lot of uh, volume here. 3.1 thousand people are typing in Movers Chicago into Google each month, and that's a huge amount. However, it's got a keyword difficulty of 48, which is even beyond what me and my team would really try to go after. This is a really long game. Like if we went after this keyword, we would not expect to be in the first position for it for like a year, <laughs> maybe, you know, so this is a really difficult one, which is why I'm not focusing on this one. But as we go down, you know, some of them are kind of just irrelevant Chicago painting for etc. For example, um, they're more likely looking for a painting of Chicago rather than painters. This one is fairly in reach for someone like my team, but I know I don't know that I honestly would have you go after it yourself. But if you did want to take these, you know, make those backlinks and add 
content and everything that could be accomplished this this 20 it's just going to take a while um, but as I go down here there are some that I thought were better so there's best movers in Chicago that one's okay um, most likely Google's going to be showing um, lists rather than single um, single companies for this so that might not be a very good one but where was the one I really liked? Let's see, ah, Piano Movers Chicago. So this is super specific, but you could totally have one page on your website dedicated solely to piano moving. Um, if you and your guys can do that, then there are 400 people searching just specifically for piano movers in Chicago. And these people are very concerned. I know because my, my uncle is a piano player. He has a beautiful grand piano and he would not trust just anybody with um, moving his piano. So when he looks up, you know, if he had to have it moved and, um, and he looked up piano movers, you know, I'm in orange, California. So he would look up piano movers, orange. Um, and there was a, one company that was just general movers company and another one that had a page dedicated solely to moving pianos and being very careful with them. And I know this is your pride and joy. It's expensive furniture and all this. Um, that would get his attention. He would be way more likely to go with that company. And I know that's true of most piano players. And with a KD of five, I think there's a lot of promise there. That's going to happen fairly quickly. Not quite as quickly as that, you know, on the other page, Concrete Chicago <laughs> and Concrete Contractors Chicago. Not quite as quickly as that, but still fairly quickly with that five. So uh, I just thought that was really cool. I wanted to show you. Okay, so if I put Concrete Chicago into Google, this is what I get. We have the map pack up here, and with that, to get get up into the map pack, you need to list your name, address, and phone number exactly as it's listed on your Google My Business um, on different directories like Yelp, Yext, City Star, White Pages, Yellow Pages, etc. Um, and if you have more questions about that, please shoot me an email. I usually go into more detail about it, but I'm running out of time. And uh, <laughs> so please feel free to, um, my, my little clock is down here ticking away. I can only upload a, a video to YouTube if it's under 15 minutes. So that's why I'm starting to talk really fast. <laughs> so um, uh, down here is the organic research results. So this one right here will statistically, this is the first one, it'll statistically get about 30% of all the visitors coming to this site, which, how many was it again? 350. I don't know what 30% of 350 is, <laughs> but you can either look it up or estimate, but we got 30% here, about 20% go to the second one, about 15% to the third, and a little less to this one here, the fourth one. Now. Um, I'm not going to compare your site to these first three because they are um, directories and that's a little bit different, but I'm going to compare you to this guy right here, Chicagoland Concrete. Um, this is their website and what we can do is look at their site and think these couple of things. First, why is it that they're sitting in that on that front page and we're not? And what is it that we can do to copy them to, to do as well as they've done? And then what can we do to surpass them so that we can actually get sit there above them in the in the Google? And then hopefully surpass the ones that are even further up, get past those directories and get even more. But even if we were sitting in their spot that they're sitting in now, we'd be in pretty good shape getting a steady flow of customers. So that's awesome. So first of all, content. Honestly, they don't have that great content. Um, definitely not much better than yours in any way. Um, if I right click on an image, click save image as, I can see if they're taking advantage. And it looks like they kind of, kind of are taking advantage there of that, but um, th those aren't really one of the keywords we were talking about earlier. Um, this is just kind of some keywords, so it's not, it's not very effective. Uh, and then if I throw them in here, this is where I can really see um, it's their backlinks and referring domains that have been doing most of the work. And so that's really, really where we want to go and kick their butts in order to get past them. Um, okay. So that's all the time I have. <laughs> um, here's my information to get a hold of me. Um, and, uh, please do, uh, I look forward to your feedback and I hope that this video is helpful. And of course, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, just shoot me a text or a call or an email. Uh, thank you so much. Bye.